Hi, I'm Don Lai. Today I'm going to solve a problem concerning finding the equilibrium concentration from the initial concentration and the equilibrium constant. Here's a question. There's a reaction given and a const uh, equilibrium constant of partial pressure given as well. A reaction mixture initially contained a bromine partial pressure of 755 torr and a chlorine partial pressure of 735 torr at 150 kelvins. It asks us to calculate the equilibrium partial pressure of bromine monochloride. So let's first take a look at all the variables information we have at hand right now. We have the partial pressure, initial partial pressure of reagents and product, and the initial partial pressure product is zero because we have nothing initially, and we have the equilibrium constant. And um, the way we solve the problem is to use the rice table. And Rice table consists of four parts, and let me walk through it. The first part is the reaction denoted by R, and I simply copy and paste it from the question so that copy down and paste down there for the sake of demonstration. The second part is I, which denotes the initial conditions. And initially, we have all this partial pressure listed, and for products, as I said before, there was zero product initially in the reaction environment, so it would be zero torr. And for the C, which denotes change, according to this stoichiometry, uh, one decrease in the partial pressure uh, of bromine and one uh, torr decrease in the partial pressure of chlorine should yield two increase in the partial pressure of bromine monochloride. And we assume the value of x, so we can represent it in a function of x. And last is the E, which denotes the equilibrium, and it's simply the summation of the change and the initial conditions. And now we obtain this function as a, uh, a function of x. The way to solve this is to plug this back to the equilibrium constant expression, which is over here. And for this reaction, we have bromine monochloride raised to the power of 2 because of the coefficient 2 here over the uh, bromine times chlorine. And let's just, uh, so we just plug those values back into this expression. And because we have limited time, I might just save all the nitty gritties uh, of math going on right now. Basically, you just expand the expression and then eventually you're going to obtain a polynomial. And solve this polynomial, you're going to use the quadratic equation of expression. And as you plug all the values into the quadratic solution, you will obtain two results. One is x1, one is x2. x1 equals to 3.9 torr, x2 equals to, sorry, there's a mistake. It should be minus 3.95 torr. A very important piece to, in solving this question is to decide which answer should be ruled out and which answer should be kept. And we need to go back to the table. One important piece of the information we have in the table is that the bromine monochloride at the equilibrium state is 2x. Um, as we all know, that there should not be any chemical having a negative value of partial pressure, which doesn't make sense. Thus, the x has to be a positive value. Therefore, x2, which is a negative value, should be ruled out. So, let's just cross it. We have x equals to 3.9 torr. However, the equilibrium partial pressure of bromine monochloride is 2x specified in the rice table. Thus, its true partial pressure is twice the x equal to 7.8 torr. Let me just walk through how to solve this kind of problem again. First, we need to locate all the information, the variables that are given. Usually, they are concentration of partial pressure of reagents and product. And we need to use the rise table uh, to find the concentration or the partial pressure of, of reagents and product at equilibrium state as a function of x. Then we need to plot all these functions back to the equilibrium constant expression like this and solve it by using quadratic expression. And usually it yields two results, and there should be one that is ruled out. The one that remains is the answer we need 